I just had a question yesterday in the gym. This, uh, this guy I'd never seen before, he walked up to me and he said, well, he had an accent and I'm not gonna try to do it, but <laughs> he said, coach, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna try to do it. Coach, uh, what's the difference between the, the trap bar deadlift and the barbell deadlift? And so I wanna you know, talk about that a little bit today. So the trap bar is this hexagonal bar. It kinda, kinda looks like this and it's connected here and it wraps all the way around your body and the weights sit on the outside there. And you step inside the thing to pick it up. So the trap bar disperses this weight around your body much better. Maybe, maybe in a, a position to where your joints are just a little bit more optimal. And so you can use more of your muscles here. Generally, people doing a trap bar deadlift are, are lifting more weight, given the same kind of intensity or same rep ranges. And uh, it's a little bit quicker to learn because it's a little more squatty than a normal barbell deadlift. The barbell deadlift puts the weight in front of your body. And so to combat that, you need to bend over even more. And so that places more stress on the posterior structures of the body, the back, the uh, upper back to hold the sh support the shoulders, the hamstrings for setting you up at the bottom, the glutes for finishing, all of that is amplified because the torque is amplified, the bar is in front of you. They're both a little bit different. You, um, with the barbell, you do need a little bit more hip mobility. So I actually like it for that because I tend to have really tight posterior hip capsules. And so this, this overhand grip and this further motion to set up in the, uh, in the barbell deadlift forces me into the back of my hip a little bit more. Also, what I'm doing here is I'm not doing a wide sumo stance. I'm keeping my feet about hip width, and that also helps screw me into those hips. Um, basically, though, both variations are really good to work on. Both the variations are fun to train. If you... Um, the, the trap bar usually makes it easier to elevate the bar, which if that's your thing, if you don't have the hip mobility, you don't have the spinal mobility, you don't have the just generally control, which I would say is usually the case, uh, the, the trap bar deadlift is really good for that. It elevates the, usually they have those high handles and they're really easy to find. Some of them don't, some of them are low and some of them are just the same height as the uh, barbell and this conversation doesn't mean anything to you. Um, if I had to pick one, you know, like for furnishing a home gym or whatever, a, a you know, a barbell is just gonna get you further. You can do your deadlifts, you can do your overhead presses, you can um, do, you know, RDLs. RDLs are kind of weird with the trap bar though, it's possible. Um, they're both really good. Trap bars aren't that expensive. Uh, feel free to pick one up. If, if you haven't used one, they're really fun, especially if you, hold those high handles and you just load the thing up too heavy and see how much you can do. <laughs> it's a lot more fun. <laughs> you feel more successful at least. Uh, so that's just some compare and contrasting big things. The weight dispersion, the trap bar deadlift is a little bit more of a squat. You're going to use a little bit more quad, whereas the barbell deadlift is in front of you and you're going to place more stress on hamstrings.